Epe, uh, you were the last man on the court today. What does that mean? It means, you know, I got to gotta make shots in practice. You know, I had to come in and get some extra shots, you know, get some extra post moves with the staff here. You know, I, I looked at your stats from last year, and, and you, you know, missed the first 24 games because of that hand injury. You came in and played 58 games, but I thought it was something that was very interesting. In the 36 Warrior wins, you played in 28 of those games. In other words, you were a factor uh, for the most part, as far as percentage-wise, in wins. And I have to look at a team that uh, lacked in rebounding, lacked in defense. When you're out there on the floor, that's the contribution you made. Is, is that kind of what you're still emphasizing, particularly with Mark Jackson, emphasizing defense this year? Of course. You know, you got to come in and be aggressive, but, you know, especially help your teammates out on the defense. You know, I'm a defensive guy. You know, I like to block shots, yell my oh no's. So and you just got to keep doing that and communicating more with my teammates. What, what has enabled you to become a, a good defender? What, what do you concentrate on? What do you think about when you're on the floor at the defensive end? Uh, wh what's on your mind? Um, I'm trying to think, you know, just two seconds ahead. You know, trying to figure out where the, you know, knowing their offense, you know, helps a lot too. You know, knowing where the screens are going to come from and where I'm able to help, you know, our teammates, my teammates. You played a lot of center last year. Are you hoping to get a little help this year and uh, maybe play a little more power forward at that position, which is more natural for you? I mean, it'd be nice, but you know, I, mean, I can play both. So, you know, whatever my team needs me to play, you know, I'll be willing to play it. You just like some minutes? Just minutes, you know, just being out on the court. Tell me about your off season. You had a little extended time to do that. How did you stay in shape and what did you do? Oh, it's tough. Um, in the summer, you know, I went back to Baylor, got my degree. Um, okay, good. And then after that, spent time in, in Michigan, you know, working out there, being able to play with the um, Michigan State team, you know. And then I started to practice more with the Baylor team, stay in better shape and, you know, just be around those guys. I know it's early on. This is only the third day of training camp, but do you feel acclimated now that you've had one season behind you, albeit a, a shortened season because of the injury? But do, do you feel, you know, that now – you are a legitimate veteran, and you and you. No, there are no surprises for you. Yeah, no surprise. Uh oh, no surprises at all. Um, but not a veteran yet. You know, still a still a young boy in the game. You know, waiting to get my years under my belt. But you know, ready to just come out. You know, have fun and win games. What do you like about practice so far under new head coach Mark Jackson? The intensity. Well, it's picked up a lot. You know, the intensity and the energy in the um, in the practice facility is is very high this year. When you have people trying to compete for a job and you're still trying to break into the lineup uh, and you go out there, it gets a little rough at times. It gets physical in, during, during training camp. Oh, yeah, it's very physical, um, but you just got to fight through it. You know, everybody's trying to get better, you know, trying to fight for one goal, you know, win more games than we did last year and make it to the playoffs. Tell us what it meant for you to uh, have Jerry West visit practice today, and, and he spoke to you. I didn't, I didn't, we talked to him, but I didn't ask exactly what he said to you. What do you have to say to the group? Oh, to the group, you know, just continue to play hard. You know, continue to, to um, build the chemistry that we have now and, and communicating on, on offense and defense. We're out on the court together. Epe, I know it's been a long day for you. We're going to let you go take a shower. But I want to remind all your viewers, again, 2.30 tomorrow, Warriors Media Day. We'll have live coverage of that. Warriors.com, Ustream, and also the 7 o'clock open practice. Open to everyone, free of charge. And if you can't make it out, be sure and tune in, and we'll see you all then.